kind of a problem with certain galleries in town. And um, when I go in these places, it's so sterile and it's so quiet. And like, you know, people are just standing right beside each other and whispering. And it's like a library or a dentist's office and they're nibbling on grapes and cheese. And it's boring to me, you know? It's just the whole thing is just kind of like, it's boring. I think it's important for people to enjoy themselves. I don't think I don't think art should be this clinical thing. I think it should be fun. You know, it's all a subjective experience. I've always been one of the mind that art is some it's an individual, independent thing that everybody sees it differently through their eyes. You know, I think as far as art goes, any response is a good response be it negative or positive, because I don't want somebody looking at my stuff and being like, well, well, that's not too bad, and because they don't care. You know, if they go in there and they say, that is terrible, it's trash, I hate it. That's just as good to me as somebody saying, oh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The original idea was to bring in all new people, and nobody from the last show was gonna be in it. And then the idea kind of evolved to, well, we'll bring in new people, and everyone that was in the last show can put two pieces in this show. And then that evolved into, we got new people, people from the last show, and I just started getting rained on with submissions. It is what it is, and it's like, uh, it's a different venue, it's a different outlet, it's a different option, it's different art than they're gonna see anywhere in town, I think, you know? It's gonna look like a rainbow threw up on itself. What should they expect? They should expect um, sensory overload, probably. My name's Christopher Lusher, and I'm curating a show uh, Friday, August 12th from six to nine, called It Is What It Is, um, at 1102 Third Avenue. And I encourage everyone to come out, uh, support local up and coming artists.